Okay, so as you see here, my little dog Moose, all 2.3 pounds of her. She's pretty excited. She just got back the uh, Astrophysics 1600 right ascension axis. Uh, when I got it, um, it had an issue with uh, excessive play. And uh, at first they thought it was something I could maybe adjust, but um, wisely they had it sent back to them and um, there was more than just an adjustment so we're going to take this apart and take a look at it little moose you ready so while we're at it let's take a look at how they package these mounts in case you've never seen it now you'll notice in this corner a b that i marked and then in the opposite corner you'll notice two b's so when i originally got this when I take everything apart, I mark everything so I know how it goes back together, and I take pictures. So again, this was shipped the second time, and they just inverted that. Okay guys, so in my first two videos, which I'll put a link to, you'll notice that um, at approximately, in the first video, at approximately 3 minutes and 30 seconds, I took my hand and with the clutches all loose, I took my hand like that and tried to rotate it and it turned with the worm engaged, but the clutches loose, it turned very much more easily than did the deck axis which was at uh, <coughs> excuse me four minutes and 15 seconds on that same video one so what we're going to do here is we're going to try to rotate this now this is the part that they repaired and i'll tell you what was wrong in a bit now we're going to go ahead and try to do the same thing with my hand just like this and i'm telling you i can't budge it okay cannot budge it with one hand so that required both hands so if you want to go back and look at that video one at three minutes and 30 seconds you'll see the difference but even the deck axis I was able to turn is very tight but this is even more this is much tighter much more snug okay now what we're gonna do We'll pull the cap, we'll disengage the worm, and of course it turns nice and free, beautiful. So, um, it does turn nice and snug. Uh, now, their RA axis is tighter than the deck and I'll put the deck on here in a second and show you how that is but again with the clutches free cannot turn that with one hand at all I mean it took both my hands to, to even try to to move that all right so now <clears throat> to the issue at hand uh, initially when I spoke to uh, Howard uh, him and Roland they were getting together and discussing what it might be I thought it was an adjustment that I might be able to make and I thought you know rather than send this whole damn RA back because you never like to ship things like this anymore than you have to I said I'd be more than willing to um, do the adjustment uh, I, t I can tear apart car engines haven't been a machinist uh, and carpenter and all I'm, I'm good mechanically and uh, he said that it required a special tool for down under it with what they thought it was I said well hell I said I've got torque wrenches I said wouldn't it be cheaper for you just to ship me the tool, let me do the job, then ship it back to you? So Howard said that that was uh, a decent option. But then, <clears throat> I guess in the end, it worked out better. They said they'd really like it back. And I thought, you know, that's probably the best thing. And I'm glad that they did do that because it wasn't just a simple adjustment. So, <clears throat> here's...
Here's what Howard uh, described to me that the issue was. Okay, so behind this this big black ribbed piece here, okay, he said that it was part of the clutch mechanism. Part of the clutch mechanism was out of spec, a few thousands. Okay, so he said that the ring that has a taper on it behind this would need the flat part of it the, on the back machined. The flat part would need to be machined to bring it into spec. And the fact that it was out of spec prevented this from, from seating down fully the way it should. And um, so Howard said that uh, they took the part off and then they replaced it with a part from the shelf at Astrophysics. They checked the part. It was within spec. And so they put a, a part off the shelf back into the RA axis here. So that's that's what the issue was and clearly the two videos you can see the difference um, so I do want to thank uh, Roland uh, Howard George let's see who did I talk to Daylene and Paige and I think I got everybody plus uh, the two guys that worked on it I think one was Dave and I forget the other guy's name the, the head machinist was it Robert I probably said that wrong but anyway so I want to thank everybody there that I spoke to and that uh, took care of this issue for me I'm very happy thank you much okay guys so I've got the deck axis on and the clutches on the right ascension are all free they're all loose and now look how snug this is And of course, when we release the worm, everything frees up and it'll flop around. Okay, this is interesting. Now, <clears throat> you can't tell from this, pers this view, but I have the original counterweight shaft that came with this okay the big ass counterweight shaft that came with this now check this out these clutches and the deck axis and the right ascension axis are all loose I've turned them two turns now, now look at this so there's nothing holding this other than just the worm we've got that heavy weight sticking all out the other end Isn't that something? Stays right where you put it. I just find that somewhat interesting. So, obviously, it's, uh, it's adjusted properly in the way it should be now. So now I've uh, taken the worm, released the worm, So one other thing, the reason I initially even found this problem here with the, uh, the excessive play was when I took this apart, you know, I'm checking everything out on the mount and I just happen to start turning things. You know, you start turning all the different knobs and things. And so this was the first thing I put onto the tripod, the mount here, and I just observed the rotation of it. Okay, so I took note of that. Well when I put the deck shaft on and I noticed that the rotational force was different on it considerably different I knew there had to be something wrong there couldn't be any way <coughs> excuse me that this could be different than this that one or the other was wrong so just by doing a little bit of uh, experimentation and, and, and looking at it, when I saw the play in here, I knew damn well it had to be this. It, it wasn't this. 
and I don't have the book in front of me, but the manual does say something to the effect that the 1600 mount axes are much, I don't, I forget that, I don't want to put the wrong word in, but it does say that they're tighter, snugger, that they're a tighter feel, and I, I, might, I might be using the wrong word, but it does specifically state that it's, that it was different than the previous mounts that were in the same class as the 1600. So, that's how I found it. Um, otherwise, you know, uh, I may not have even noticed that. I don't know. But uh, I always, when I get something, I always check it out. Make sure everything's correct. And um, so now, now everything looks good on here. Now all we need is some clear skies. Wouldn't you know it's uh, cloudy tonight. 